So this one is actually Trulicity. This auto injector inject. Hey there, it's Dr. G and I am an internal medicine physician in Hollywood, Florida. And I am an expert on GLP-1 agonist medications for lifestyle modifications. And I'd like to talk to you today about, I don't know if it's a problem or a fix, but <laughs> the issue is microdosing or stacking doses for GLP-1 medications. And how to do that when you have your medications presented to you in one of these things. And this is an auto injector, um, made famous in the last, I guess, 15, 20 years. There are injectable medications here in the States where, you know, we're not as um, savvy with uh, drawing up our medications from a vial and um, injecting ourselves for whatever the, the, the condition may be. So came up with uh, um, one of the, these things. And this is a ZepBound um, sample pen for the office to show patients how, what they look like and what they feel like. Um, and what the process is for using them. So when you get one of these in a box, the box come in a box of four, it doesn't matter if it's step bound or if it's Wagovi or any other um, auto injector pen, usually come in, in boxes of four. Um, they come like this. It's got this one, that bound has got a purple cap, purple top, and it's got this, you know, protective gray cap here. Um, and it's got a lock unlock feature when it comes locked, so you can't depress the purple, the edge on here and then you unlock it. Um, and then you can, you know, get it ready to go and you grab the piece of your body which you're gonna inject in the abdomen, the thigh or behind the arm, put it flush with your body and, and then you'll see the pen will auto inject and then retract right back into it. But what you don't see on this pen, and obviously this is a dummy pen and we're gonna do a real pen in a minute, there's their needle there, and that's the needle that actually uh, introduces into the subcutaneous space in your body and injects whatever the volume or and the milligram dosage is uh, inside the pen. Now, uh, why is this important? This is important because you can't do a halfway dose. You can't do a quarter, you can't do a piece, you can't do, you know, whatever it is. You have to get whatever this pen decides. It's gonna give you the whole 2.5. If it's built for five, it's gonna give you five or 10, and so on and so forth. The usual volume that these things come in is 0.5 milliliters. So you'll get four of them, like I said, and so the box has two milliliters in the box, but this one pen has 0.5 mLs. So then we have the question of, you know, patients coming in and asking, well, you know, I really, you know, don't tolerate the whole 2.5 milligrams. Can we do half of it? and see how I feel and see if, you know, we can do maybe half this week and half next week. If you got this pen, there's really no way to do that. You know, we can't save half a dose and then save for another time because it's gonna sp spray out the whole thing. If you try to remove it from your body, it doesn't just stop. It gives you a whole dose, a whole 2.5 milligrams in, in this example. So what you will find is that people are now finding how to remove or dismantle this pen, take it apart, and transfer the volume or the, the medication that's in the pen to another vessel. Um, and uh, there are a lot of crazy things I've seen on the internet, people using, you know, vice grips. <laughs> I don't know if they was using it on plumbing or if it's a brand new vice grip, didn't see it come out of the packaging. So I don't know where these uh, wrenches were before, um, whatever. <laughs> and then you have people who are trying to transfer it into either a vial or which is, you know, the recommended way, you know, you want to transfer it into a clean vial, an, an, uh, a sterile vial, and, or, you know, folks are transferring them directly into a syringe like this. It can be, you know, typically, this is the best kind, I would say, um, almost zero dead space, meaning you don't lose any medication. If you do, it's very little medication inside of the syringe. Um, so transferring into this syringe and then transferring into the vial is one way or transferring it directly into the vial. They've, I've seen that done or, you know, explained on the internet where on YouTube as well, you put it right on here. There's a method, you put it on here and you pray to God, <laughs> pray that the needle doesn't bend and you don't lose product. I've, you know, I've seen, you know, patients that have come in here crying cause they've lost, you know, a whole vial, um, a very expensive and hard to get medication trying to transfer it into a vial like this not very good to do it that way. So um, the best way, the way that I recommend you do it is actually to not dismantle the pen because there's a way you can hurt yourself. There's a way you can, you know, inject it into the air and not you know right exactly where you want it to go or the uh, needle will bend while you try to put it into the vial. So which is not ideal um, either, or, you know, you're gonna break the pen to dismantle it. But what I'm saying is you can actually break the mechanism and then can't get the vial out 
There's all types of problems with that method. The best method is the method I'm about to show you. And this is the one that I recommend if you need to do micro dosing or stack dosing, meaning take one on, you know, on a Monday. And then if you need, you know, half of it on a Monday or part of it on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you go to another part and then, you know, and so on and so forth. And that's why you, you cycle through your week in order to tolerate the medication or to um, potentiate, you know, get more effect out of it towards the end, whatever it is that your reason why your practitioner, your doctor is recommending that you do microdosing, or if you come in here and you, you know, I'm talking about microdosing or stacking doses in, on the videos or through one of the consultation sessions. So again, these are auto injectable pens. They come like this in a box. If you've never seen one, you've been on a compounding space, come next year, you're probably gonna start seeing these if you finally um, switch over to an insurance, you know, insurance covers you for the, for the medications. So again, you have the, the, the protective cover, the trigger here, let's call it the trigger and this, this mechanism where you unlock and lock it. So the trigger can go like that. And then the needle will come out and it retracts automatically. So trick is to get this volume into a sterile vial. So let's do that. Now I'm going to show you my method. Well, not my method, another method. This is the, the auto injector, uh, zep bound auto injector. This is a, a dummy pen. Like I've been showing you again, a close up shot of what it looks like. Cap comes off. You have this lock unlock feature. You turn it unlock. You put it toward to the skin, flat to the skin. You depress the purple. And as you can see, you know, right there, let me, let me do it again. Go ahead and load it back up with this thing, pushes it back so I can show patients in the office. Again, you unlock it. And then you'll see here, boom, you see that plunger going down there and it goes back. So that's basically the, the, the same exact motion to get out of, you know, all of the auto injector pens. So these are basic supplies that we need here to uh, get going. Um, you always want to be as clean as possible. And this is why I like this method because we keep everything in a closed space. I'm going to show you this is the type of syringe you want to get here where there we go. You see that plunger, it eliminates the waste that you'll get with other type of, of, of syringes. So let me show you where you can get these type of um, syringes. Basically these are insulin syringes. Um, or, you know, these are tuberculin syringes really, but the insulin syringes have that similar mechanism there. Right. And then, so that way it eliminates the dead space there. So with that cone like thing in there. So it pushes as much of the fluid out as it possibly can, because believe it or not, every syringe, you're going to leave just a little bit of fluid on in there. Some syringes leave more than others. So this is when I took it out already. So you can see, but supplies. So you need something to keep your hands clean. I received some Purell. We've got some alcohol swabs. We've got a sterile vial that we got off of Amazon. We've got one of our syringes already ready to go. Yeah. So we've got that. And then we've got the needle that we're going to use to transfer. It's actually a very thin needle um, to transfer the medication into our sterile vial. So, yeah. And I, you know, I like to use gloves when I'm doing this for my patients who are, you know, showing them in the office. Okay. So to do this though, we're, we're not going to use, it's the exact same, believe it or not, this is the exact same stuff. Uh, same vial. These are, you know, the culprit, I think, for most of the reason why we have so much, you know, some of the short shortage. Um, mo most of it was medication, but some of it, you know, allegedly was the actual auto injector pens were, you know, have not been as available as they should be. Um, so this one is actually Trulicity. Same, you know, GLP-1 um, medications, dulaglutide, um, cousin to, you know, semaglutide and um, terzipatide. So this is what I got on hand right now. Um, so as you can see, it's got the same things. It's got the lock unlock here. Um, we're going to leave it locked. Obviously when it's locked, you can't press it down. It's got the gray cap on here. Once you take it off, really can't put it back on. Um, so the method basically is to get the needle that's in here that injects into your body. The needle is in here, put that into the hole here that you see the little hole there, right? I'm gonna pull the plunger back because this fluid, actually there's 0.5 mLs in this volume in here, but this is a whole milliliter. So this point, 
there's 10, um, you know, 0 0.10, 0 0.10 ml. So I can pull back as far, way back, obviously further than 0 0.5. I got 0 0.5 right here. That would be the amount of volume in, in this auto injector. If I put it right here. So what I'm going to do is pull it back further, maybe like 0 0.9, and let this auto injector inject into the, the pen, right? But we're going to keep things as clean as possible, right? So that's why the hands, that's why, you know, we've got everything ready. And um, here we go. Let's do it. So clean my hands real quick with uh, with a Purell a little bit because that's what we do. That ready to go. If you do this at home before you put the gloves on, oh, doctor trick, make sure that your hands are dry before you put it on or else you end up like, Ugh. but you look like the gloves don't fit and you must have quit type thing. So um, got to put it on. You got you to gotta make sure those are pretty dry before you uh, you try to slide the gloves on, right? So we put our gloves on. It is what it is. Gloves. I mean, again, this is, you know, personal preference. Again, I'm, I'm managing these these in the office for for other patients. So I always use gloves. But if you're doing it at home, it's, I guess it suffice to wash your hands, keep your hands clean. Um, and, and you know, just go ahead and, and, and do what you need to do. So here's here's our Trulicity pen here. Here's our alcohol swabs to wipe the top of our transfer vial that we got off of Amazon. It's super, super, it's, it's clean on the inside, but we still want to wipe the top when we're going to inject. And our needle it can be any size needle really, really to, in, to transfer the fluid from the vial, from our syringe into the vial. So let's go ahead and get everything going. Let's go ahead and wipe the top here with this, and we're going to set it to the side. All right, we're going to set that to the side. And then... We're going to open up this wrench. And as you can see, yep, here we go. And pull that back to about 0.8, you know. So you don't, you don't want to pull it too far because you may lose the plunger. But you want to pull it far enough that the volume that's in here is going to go where it needs to go. Like it's not going to overspill or it's not going to push the plunger out or, or you know, pressure and all that good stuff. So remove this. And if you can look in there, if you can see in there, you can probably see, see that needle is in there. Now the gauge of that needle is a lot smaller than the opening here on this uh, um, syringe, right? So again, you, it's under so much pressure. It's under so pre it's so like compact in, in, in that space. You can actually see a drop of the medication. So there's no dead space in there. So you want to put that on over your needle. But you got to make sure it's on there because if you're not, then you got a big problem, right? So you got to make sure that it actually went in that hole, right? So now we have the needle is ready to go. When I depress this green button, the fluid is going to go right into our syringe, right? So we want to hold on to it, unlock it now. And you've unlocked, I've unlocked it. Okay, so from red to green, and we're going to press the button. And it's gonna it's gonna depress, and it, all the fluid is gonna go into the needle because I've got I mean the syringe I've got the needle inside of the syringe clean syringe that we got ready to go. And here we go, and it's going out, and we got all the medication. It goes super fast, and it retracted all on its own. So now we've got our Trulicity, our our Wegovy, or our all any of the the medication, the Zepbound or whatever it is inside of a clean syringe. So all we gotta do is use this needle. Maybe I should have prepped this part, but at least I know it's clean, right? So this needle is in here at this point. Let's tear it open and get this, and get this out. You don't wanna touch this part. Obviously you don't wanna touch this part. You wanna keep it clean by not touching it. Touch the plastic, grab the plastic. Now you grab your syringe with your medication in it, all right? And you just put it on, twist it, boom, done deal. So now this is actually an inject the same, this needle that's on here is the same gauge as the needle that is um, on the Trulicity, right? That's on the, actually on this thing. So this is the same gauge needle, right? But we're going to use it now to transfer the contents, the Trulicity that's in here, 0.5 mLs of Trulicity into our clean syringe, right? So it's very simple at this point. You just, you know, well, you should remove the air, the space that you have here. Now you can actually see the fluid coming into the needle here, coming into the head, the head there. 
and a yellow head and a yellow cap part. You can see that the fluid now is reaching into the yellow cap part here. And now, in the hub, it's called, stick this needle very carefully into the, into the clean vial. And then you can transfer now the medication very simply into, see, transferring the medication into the clean vial, right? Now, I guess the down part of this is you do lose a small amount in the actual cap, the hub of this thing, but it's a very small amount, you know? Um, I guess, you know, tolerable amount, I guess. Um, but for all intents and purposes, the volume that's in here is just the, about the same volume that you just removed from your auto injector. So obviously you wanna get rid of this in the proper fashion, recap it or don't recap it, but get rid of the needle. And now you can use this file to stack doses. You can do, use this file to do your micro dosing over time, um, split them over, you know, 10 days, uh, you know, 15, whatever it is that you needed to do to break up this dose, this, this full vial, you can do that now because you've transferred it into this vial. That's how I do it here in the office. I think it's the easiest way. I think it's the way that you are, it's like foolproof almost to make sure that you don't lose some of this valuable, valuable medication. Um, you, you know, it's hard to get and costs a lot. Um, and you don't want to waste it, but at the same time, you do want the, the, the flexibility to um, get medication, to dose yourself as you need to. So, um, yeah, that's the way that I do it here in the office. Uh, if you have any questions um, about that, you know, um, drop your comments in the uh, questions in the comments below. Um, again, this is another opportunity from Lee to let you know that these are the types of tips and, and things that I show um, all of our members in our community. Um, you have an opportunity right, right now to get a seven day free trial of the community to see how um, lifestyle changes and modifications in a community setting are absolutely a great, great asset to you. So check out the link in the description below if you'd want to join my lifestyle community group. Stay healthy. See you soon.